All right, and now we are going to get the hash for a block. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is let's create a new variable, a new uh, function, and let's call this get hash for block. All right, and this takes any block. Great, and this is a, this returns a string. All right, and what we're going to do is just call block. Calculate block hash. All right, we're going to use this function again. All right, and this will be i block index. First one satisfied. Second one. Oh, sorry. Second one, previous hash. So a block, previous hash. Third one, timestamp. A block, timestamp. Fourth one will be data. A block, data. Okay, this is it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if and we get the hash for the block, all right? And the block is going to be the candidate block. If the hash that we get is not the same as the hash of the candidate block, it means that return false. The structure is not valid. All right, then again, this will make more sense if you take the Bitcoin class since I explain why hashes and all that stuff with nice art drawings. All right, so we check if the block is valid, all right? So first we validate the structure, all right? If it's not valid, we return false. If the index plus one of the previous block is not the candidate block's index, then it's false. If the, the hash of the previous block is not the same as the candidate's block previous hash, return false. If we calculate the hash on our own and this block has a different hash, then return false. This means the structure is not valid or we return true. All right. And we are almost, almost there. I promise you this. Now, all we have to do in how much time? Two minutes, all right. Now, all we have to do is do add block to the blockchain, all right? So I'm gonna say const add block, all right? And this is going to add the block, all right? So I will get the candidate block here, candidate block. This is the type of block, all right? And this will return void because this doesn't return anything. This function does so, only does something. It doesn't return anything at all, all right? And I'm going to check if, and I'm going to validate. If the, one second, if, yes. If is block valid, I need to validate, all right? And I give it the candidate block, and I give it the previous block. So I say get newest, what is the name? Get latest, get latest block, all right? So I'm gonna execute this function. If this function returns true, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say blockchain, push, and I'm gonna push, what can I push? A block. And this will be candidate block. All right, and we are good. Now we will need to change something, but I think this will be on the next video where we test and I make the closing remarks. Mm, yeah, this was only validation of the structure. Again, I tell you, if you feel lost here, you can go and Google the blockchain foundations on your own, or you can take the Bitcoin clone because I explain exactly what these functions mean, all right? But basically, we're just validating the structure of the block right here, validate the structure, right? And we're validating as well the hash, and we are also validating that it corresponds the old with the new, the candidate with the previous one. All right, I will see you on the next one where we're going to test it and we're going to see how many bugs I created. See you there.